Hey guys, I've been professional programmers for more than 10 years and I did it as a hobby for much longer. In this video I will tell you how I got started and how programming changed my life. How it all started. The first time I heard about programming was when my, when my older brother asked me if I wanted to start programming, but I had no idea what he meant. I guess it took a few years after that before I started to get into it, and then I started learning HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. After I learned the basics, I built a few weird pages, like a fan page for my trampoline club, a page where I could find cheat codes for uh, video games, and similar. Everything was hard-coded, and then I heard about PHP. After I started learning PHP, I also learned a ton of other languages, like Python, C++, C Sharp, Objective-C, Lua, and probably many more. Plus all of the frameworks I use like Django, Vue, and similar. My first job. I never got the education, so the first job I had was unloading fish from boats. So a fish boat came to the dock, we went into the freezer, lifted it onto pallets, and then a lift took it out of the boat. And this was really hard work and we often had to work 16 hours per day and similar. A way out of the hard work. I started doing a little bit of freelancing, built my own CMS and a place where a freelancer could find work in Norway. I earned a little bit of money for the freelancing but not much. Since I didn't have an education, I didn't have the courage to apply for jobs either. But one day I decided that I should at least try to apply for a job. And then a few hours later, I got the email with positive feedback and we decided to have an interview. The day of my interview came and I was really nervous. Luckily, I had my girlfriend there who supported me and helped me to get enough courage to go in. Already during the interview, the boss offered me a position there. And of course I said yes. I was really happy because now I was a programmer. Since that I have three other jobs as a full-time developer. In these different jobs I have opportunity to work with a lot of cool clients and build many exciting things. The most famous clients I have worked with is Coca-Cola and the Nobel Peace Prize. Coca-Cola is my favorite drink in the whole world and I thought it was really cool that I could do some things with them, even if it was just a few small scripts. For the Nobel Peace Prize I built the most of their website and also their nomination system, so every time someone goes in to nominate something, it's something I actually built. There are a lot of other cool clients I work with, but not many of them are international like this. So what can I do with my knowledge? With all the knowledge I have, I've been able to build and work on many awesome side projects as well. I built many mobile games like Scholars and Color Lane. I built a mobile app that was called Finfido, which, which is an app for helping people find lost and found pets. And maybe the thing I'm most proud of is Kodwitzstein, of course. I received incredible much positive feedback and I love making content for my channel. If you want to help me grow this channel and see more content like this, you need to click like and subscribe below and share the video with your friends. I can live wherever I want. I've worked remotely since 2013 and most of this time I've spent in Spain. Norway is usually really cold and it's not my cup of tea. I hate the cold. Right now I'm in Spain again with my girlfriend, and we live in a self-converted van. We moved into this van 7 or 8 months ago, and during this time we have experienced so much. Working remotely in the car is also really great, because I have everything I need very close to me. Featured by Apple and Google. The two games I mentioned earlier even got featured by both Google and Apple. I built them together with my girlfriend who designed them. The morning I woke up and saw our game on the top list of Apple was really insane. It felt so unreal. It was really unexpected to see something like that there and it was just a very weird feeling to have. We didn't earn a lot of money from the two games but the most important experience from this was that we actually was featured and it felt like a success to us. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hearing about my story as a developer and maybe it even inspired you to do the same thing. Hit like and subscribe below if you like this video. See you in the next video.